Anthony's branch line is important and so is Mike's, but their track and bridges are not so strong as those on the main line. Merida doesn't allow the heavier main line engines like Gordon to run on them, but one day, the way Gordon was talking, you would have thought that Merida had given this order for quite another reason. Mike bustled in. It's not fair, he said. What isn't fair, Gordon? Letting branch line diesels pull main line trains. Never mind, Gordon. I'm sure Boko will let you pull his car sometimes. Gordon spluttered. I won't pull Boko's dirty cars. I won't run on branch lines. Why not? It would be a nice change. Merida would never approve, gasped Gordon. Branch lines are vulgar. He puffed away to the big station. Mike followed him. Every evening, two engine. Bleh. Every eight, every evening, the two engines pull two fast trains from the station. Gordon always leaves first with an express for the main line. Mike follows five minutes later with his train for the branch line. Usually, everything runs like clockwork, but tonight there was trouble. Chef was picking up his his broken down car. It was nearly time for Gordon to to leave. The fireman looked back and saw something green waving. It was Mike trying to wave his car all around for attention because he's a loner and poor. Right away, mate, he thought the conductor had waved his flag. So Gordon started, leaving luggage, his passengers, and the conductor all on the platform. <laughs> To make matters worse, by the time that Gordon had been stopped and brought back, Mike was already late with his train. So he set off first. But the state, but the signalman didn't know about the about the mistake. By the change, yeah, the, mis the signalman didn't know about this, the this, the change. By mistake, he sent Mike along the main line. Gordon was set along the branch line, and Puff called and cross, and Puff cold, cold and cross, in the level crossing. Next morning, BDK arrived. There were no cars for them, but they didn't mind that. Teasing Gordon would be much better fun. What's that? Shush, said B. It's Gordon. It's, it looks like Gordon, but it can't be, said DK. Gordon never comes on the branch line. He thinks them vulgar. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard them. If it isn't Gordon, they said, it's just a pile of old iron, which we better take to the scrapyard. No, B, this lot's useless for scrap. We'll take it to the harbor and dump it in the sea. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop, stop. When Boko suddenly arrived, Gordon thought him the most beautiful sight he had ever seen. Dun, da, 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 da. Boko, my dear engine, save me! Boko quickly sized up the situation and threatened to take away the cars he had left for B and DK. This made the twins behave at once. Gordon thought Boko was wonderful. Those little demons! How do you do it? Ah, well, said Boko. It's just a knack. Gordon still believes that Boko had saved his life, but we know the twins were only teasing, don't we?